Facebook Insights is an analytics tool that you can use to see how people are engaging with your page and your page content. To access Insights, you go to your Facebook page, you go below your main image, and in the tabs, you'll see an icon that says Insights. We also see that there are three other tabs underneath Insights, Fans, Reach, and talking about this. Fans are your Facebook page connections. Reach is people who see your content on Facebook through news feeds, ads, through a friend. And then talking about this is a report on people who react to your content. Okay, they, they like something, they comment on something, they answer a question that you've posted on your Facebook wall, they've um, RSVP'd to an event, they've liked your page. We're gonna dig into the overview. The data is as of yesterday. First number is total likes, okay? The number of unique people have liked your page as of yesterday. And during this time period, there's an increase of 6.27%. Okay, so this green arrow up is an increase. Any red arrow down is a decrease, all right? Friends of fans, this number is really just the collective number of friends that all of your fans have. We're seeing an increase here. 4.6% between 10.1 and 10.7, people talking about this. So this is simply the number of people who have either liked the page, liked a post, commented on a post, shared a post, RSVP'd to an event associated with the page, mentioned the page in an update, tagged the page in a photo, or answered a question using the questions feature on the Facebook page, okay? So that's it, that's that. We can see that there's an increase, a huge increase, 118% over the past week, all right? Weekly total reach, all right? This is simply the number of people who have seen your content. Now, we can't really tell if people are looking at the screen when the content is displayed, so this number is really the number of pure impressions throughout Facebook, okay? Uh, we can see that there's an increase here, 33% over the past week, okay? Any definitions, if you want to dig in a little bit deeper, you can just mouse over the questions box, you get a lot more detail, okay? Now underneath this, there's a graph, and really these are, this, this graph is showing you weekly rolling numbers for people talking about this, okay? So, and this spans usually about a month, it looks like we have a month here, okay? And we have, um, weekly talking about this. So if you mouse over this line, you can see, you know, you mouse over any dates. There's 72 people talking about this between 9-5 and 9-11. So it's, it's basically a rolling six or seven day period. And then this is weekly total reach. So this is the number of people that are seeing your content from week to week. So what's useful here is that on the left, you can see that although I'm reaching a lot of people, not a lot of people are responding. But on the right, even though I'm reaching less people, more people are responding. I'm resonating more with my fans. You could look at it that way. All right, so that's this graph right here. So now below, we have page posts. This is a set of data on each individual post on your Facebook page and how it has performed. So let me go over each one of these um, columns. Date is simply the date it was published. Post column is simply an excerpt. If you click on any of this, it will open up a small little preview uh, and just give you an idea of what the content actually was. That way you don't have to click and go back and look at what the post was, all right? Next column is reach. Again, this is simply the number of people who have seen the content, okay, so 597 people in this case, all right? If you click on these numbers, you get kind of more detail on that number. So we look at 597 as total reach. Most of that in this case is organic. That means that it's just simply showing up in the news feed. People are seeing it in the way that you would normally expect. Paid is when you've purchased a Facebook sponsored story. And then viral means when a friend of someone who's engaged with your page sees the content. It's kind of like that second degree away from people engaging with your page or content. Next column, engaged users. So these are people that have actually done something. They've clicked on a post, they've done something. If we click on this number, we're gonna see a little graph that opens up. Other clicks is simply people clicking on, say, the date in the post or 
any other type of click that's not counted in stories generated. That includes basically anybody who does anything related to your content, like clicking on it, mousing over it perhaps, um, something like that. Now, talking about this is a subset. These are people that specifically commented, liked, or shared a page update or RSVP to an event, if it's an event that you've posted on your page, and so forth, okay? Um, and again, you can click on any of these little numbers and a new graph pops up. In this case, we have, you know, eight people talking about this. Most of this was likes. And then we have the last column, virality. Virality, virality, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Virality is nothing more than the percent of people reached that actually took action. Now we're going to drill down into each one of the reports.